Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Saint Artist. We're gonna do our eyeshadow. I wanna talk about placement. Eyeshadow placement. This to me, get ready, is a foolproof placement. This works on everyone's eyes, whether they're hooded or not. It doesn't matter. Every, every person I've done makeup on, this is the placement I've done for eyeshadow. And it works for everyone. So if you're ever thinking, I'm not good at eyeshadow, try this placement and switch out colors. It's easy. So we're gonna get into this. Here's my colors. This is a great brown eyed palette, but these are the colors I'm using today. Drift, Foxy, Oak, and Leo. I'm gonna be using a Demi brush, the blur brush. I like this brush for eyeshadow a lot. And I'm gonna go into my eyeshader brush for my secret weapon color. So if you have brown eyes, stick around. I've got a secret weapon for you. Okay, I wanna talk about highlighting your brow. I like to do it first because I don't wanna compromise the shadows that I've put on my face. Right, okay, so we're gonna go in on the fluffy end of the brush. We're gonna go into drift. We're gonna tap off the excess and I am going to just go all over my brow bone here, all the way up. So this is gonna be a peekaboo shimmer. Okay, you can bring it all the way over. I don't like clumping a bunch of shimmer on this inner corner. I think it can mature an eye more if you have mature lids, but taking that drift and putting it way up here first just gives it that peekaboo highlight that won't compromise the final look of your shadow. I'm gonna put it on over here, all over that lid. You can bring it in towards the middle again, just like that. All right, now we're gonna talk about a transition color. A transition color is not the focal point of your eyeshadow. It's again, another peekaboo color. This is going to give you dimension. It can add warmth to a cool look or it can add coolness to a warm look. I like a cool and a warm together. It's my prerogative, it's my eyes, and that's what I want. Okay, I'm gonna go into Leo. This is my transition color. A dark color is not a transition color. A darker shimmer is not a transition color. I like using a brighter light, your lightest color as a transition color. So I'm grabbing Leo, and I'm gonna tap off the excess. There's not a lot on here. And I am going to put this up here towards the top. So again, this is a peekaboo color that's going to give us dimension. This is gonna be in addition to your color. So this is gonna mix with your other colors while it also has areas of, it's a standalone color. I put mine on my brow bone because I have hooded eyes. I keep it above my crease because when I'm resting my face, all my color disappears. So into my crease. So I put this on my brow bone. I usually apply it with my eyes open and semi resting. I go down towards my crease, but I don't focus it on my crease because then I've put a color on nobody's gonna see. So I bring this up high onto my brow bone and this is all a transition color is. You can stop here if you want. Any of these colors can be stopped where they are at any point, but together I'm telling you it's perfect. It is. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the small end of the blur brush, Demi blur brush. I don't know if I said that because I've restarted this a number of times because that's how I roll. And I'm gonna go into oak. So this is a smoky, deeper color. And I'm going to go in on the big end here, tap off the excess. Really, that's just to keep it from falling out. And we're gonna go on the outer part of the lid and pull out and we're going to make kind of a triangle. Long here, point out here. And we're going into that crease, pushing on that brow bone, but pulling out, pulling out, right like that, okay? Grabbing some more, and we're just gonna deepen that a little bit towards the top of that side triangle. Whatever's left, we're gonna pull this down under our eyes. This just smokes it out, just like that. Look at that, that looks nice, it looks nice. And we haven't even blended it yet. Trust me, we're gonna blend it. Okay, we're gonna grab oak, same thing over here. Grabbing, we're not halfway in, we're on that outer quarter of the lid, and I go in and pull out, making that triangle, the side triangle, building if you need to. Side triangle, I push onto my brow bone, but open your eyes and take a gander at it and figure it out as you pull, as you blend this out towards the outer corner. I like going past my corner, just to make my eyes a little bigger, and then smoking it out, I like it to go together, so I could go like this, okay? But keep your eyes open and look at your placement and see what you like. Pull it out, there we go, perfect. We're gonna take Foxy, okay, with our finger. We're not blending yet. And I'm gonna go right a little bit over this line here and towards the middle with Foxy. 
just like that. I like applying my shimmers with my finger because you get less fallout and more punch to your shimmer. But I'm putting it a little bit over that oak color so they transition together. Okay, next, because I don't want it to be dark all the way over, I want my eyes to look bright and open and more youthful because I am of an age. So I'm gonna take some of that drift and we're gonna go on the inner lid. Not the inner corner, the inner lid right there. Inner lid right there. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm just gonna wipe off any excess and I'm gonna grab from drift to foxy to oak. Drift to foxy to oak and I'm just pulling it over and blending them all together. Blend, 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 pull, pull, pull. Inner corner to the outer and we're just blending it, sweeping it so that drift kind of marries into foxy and then foxy marries into oak and then oak blends out and isn't so harsh. Perfect placement. Perfect placement. Look at that. It's a good neutral eye. If you feel like this is still a little harsh, go to a fluffy end, not a dense end, and just blend it around. Sometimes you need extra blending. That's okay. That doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Sometimes just you need to blend a little more. Okay, let's talk about the secret weapon. I'm going to grab my liner. Now, as you mature, you're told not to, not to shove that liner all the way across. So here's what I do. You don't have to do this, but... I waterline because it fills in between my lashes. Hold on, please. There we go. Okay. We're going up and over, getting that waterline. And then you are going to put that liner on this inner lip, extending your lash line for one. But two, when you flick up and pull in and you do liner on the top of the lash line, and you're only going a quarter to a halfway across your lid. Here's the secret weapon. You're going to grab that eyeshader brush. I'm going to link my link tree. It's linked in there. You're going to get this brush, your secret weapon, Ivy League. It's green and it's going to warm your eyes up. I'm telling you, I put this color on people with brown eyes and they say, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And you're going to shove it onto that liner you put and you're going to just smoke it out just like that. And you remember how we brought that oak down under the lash line? You're also going to pull it down with this Ivy League on your lash line. And adding that green is just going to warm up. You can even bring it over because you don't want that hard line smoking it out. And it just warms up your eye. And having that liner not go all the way across keeps it open in the middle like we did with that drift. And having that liner up here at the top pulls the eye up. That's good stuff, I'm telling you. Okay, so we're gonna get that waterline again. Do one eye at a time so your liner doesn't set. We're gonna get that inner lid. And then we're gonna flick up at the corner from your waterline up, and then you're gonna push in. And because we're gonna shove a brush on here, it doesn't have to be tidy. And then you just want that little wing. You're gonna grab the eyeshader. You're gonna grab your Ivy League, you're gonna shove some on, flick off excess, and you're just gonna shove that brush onto that liner. And you're just gonna smoke it out and shove it around, smoke it out. It's just a good color for brown eyes. And I'm telling you, it takes that brown and throws a little amber into your brown eyes. Get it and tell me I'm wrong. I think that's my new phrase. Get it and tell me I'm wrong. Grab some mascara. But if you have brown eyes, get Ivy League. It's a, it's a matte, it's not a shimmer. So it's good for mature eyes, it's good for not mature eyes. It's great for mature personalities and not mature personalities. <laughs> and you're just gonna whip this on and pull up like that. Adding mascara just makes everything better, right? I mean, this eye looks way better than the other eye already. Okay, grabbing the other eye. I hate doing this, it always takes forever and nobody wants to watch me put on mascara. Flicking at the tips just to make them longer. It's hard to find a good mascara. I recommend buying as many travel sizes as you can. And that's it. That's the eye look. I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna just sh sharpen this up a little bit. Clean it up, I'm gonna take a buff brush on the small end. Grab whatever brush you want and you're going to just Pull up and you're just gonna clean up that eyeshadow. Look at that. Look at how clean it up. Just mm, 
chef's kiss, right? right? I'm always right. Well, at least with makeup, at least with makeup, I kind of know what I'm doing. That's it. Okay, secret weapon for brown eyes. Ivy Lee, get it. It's so darn good. But that's the eye look. I'm going to list all the colors in the description. Have a great day. Full proof placement.